Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. <laughs> Last week, I had a makeup protection crisis, y'all. I got so overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't know if it was because I wasn't feeling well or if it was because there were so many releases or I was tired. I don't know. It may, it may have been a combo of all three, but we're going to go ahead and go through these makeup releases. We're going to do it the, the, the regular way. I'm just going to go through. Um, I, I, I didn't mind the organized content, but I also like just my natural reaction. So I might go back to the organized way from time to time, especially if there's so much like last week. I just, I don't know. I feel like I was just really in my feelings about makeup last week. I just want to have some fun and get on here, talk about the new makeup releases. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know, I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. you i'm feeling good as soon as i sat down i just got real giddy like to film because i was like oh man like last week was so controlled it was so controlled it was so organized and that wasn't bad it wasn't but i needed that last week but this week i'm ready to just get on here and see what's going on before i get into this video i want to let you know tomorrow so today's friday tonight i'm gonna have to go in and edit in the nomad color story for the new palette my palette was mailed out and i wanted to have it up but it's not here so i don't know as soon as it gets here i will start working on the looks but it's not so i know you're going to see an influx of nomad palette videos i know my girl jammy has hers locked and loaded hers is going to be ready to go so definitely check hers out and mine will be coming you know i know with the um with the last palette, I got that one really quickly. This one is coming, so I will definitely have a video up for that as soon as I can. All right, let me know how you're doing in the comment section. I'm. This is probably not going to be a premiere. It might be. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling. But let me know how you're feeling uh, regardless. You know, I'd love to know. It has been a really long week for me, so I'm, I'm feeling really giddy about hanging out with y'all and uh, filming, and I'm excited to see what's going on in the streets. So I'm going to scoot over. We're going to get on my girl, Jamie, also known as Makeup on Your Radar's Instagram page, and we're going to see what is going on without being overwhelmed this week. <laughs> and I'm over. We have a lot to talk about, but it's not like how I was feeling last week. I'm actually really, really excited to talk about makeup this week. It just might have been a rough week last week. So let's scroll down and see where we left off. All right, I think I have found it. It's not too, too bad. Supergoop has a daily SPF tint. Protectant. Okay, that's what it's called. Protectant. Daily SPF tint, SPF 50 sunscreen. So this is a skin tint with hyaluronic acid and Ectwin. This has light coverage that's buildable with a natural finish for immediately smooth, even looking skin. All right, let me know your thoughts on this one, y'all. Hmm, looks like it could be good. Oh, I wanted to know about this Ectwin. Ectwin. Is it Ectwin? Okay, so this defends against stress caused by blue light radiation and pollution. There's hyaluronic acid infused clay and broad spectrum hybrid SPF 50 with zinc oxide. This is available now at Sephora for $44. Again, I am going to go ahead and wait until the Sephora sale. There were some things I talked about last week, like the House Labs blushes. I'm going to try to wait on all Sephora purchases. Talked about this Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oil as well. This is not something I'm purchasing at this time. I do have this one from House Labs. I have the Summer Fridays Lip Oil. So I really don't need uh, to branch out in that way. But this has hemp seed oil in it and sunflower and coconut oil. There is Camellia Japonica seed oil. All of these are for hydration. This could be great, 
but I'm gonna pass on this. They are available now on the Sephora website. And it looks like they are flavored in case you're interested. There's different flavors. Okay, Laneige has a bouncy and firm sleepy mask. Okay. A visibly firming sleeping mask with peony and collagen complex that delivers both overnight and long-term benefits for smoother, bouncy looking skin. I'm sure this could be good as well. I would consider buying a sleeping mask. I don't have anything like this. I used to have the one from Youth to the People, but I don't. I'm, well, I don't anymore because I used it, but I don't have a sleeping mask. I do use, let me show you. I do use this from Kiehl's. It's the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And I had the cream that went with this, but I'm out of that. I did just place a, a big order at Kiehl's. Not big, but it was like four things. So that's big. Uh, they are having 25% off. So if you like Kiehl's, I would get things from their site because they do up to 30%. I did order their new sunscreen serum. So I will have to let you all know about that. I did replenish some things that I ran out of and then I ordered their essence because I wanted to try that. What they don't have on their site is, it's like the milky liquid exfoliating toner. I really like that and they're out. So I will be looking for a liquid exfoliator and maybe they have it on the Sephora site, not sure. But back to this, uh, this could be something nice to put on at night. So I would definitely consider it. And $36 is reasonable. Uh, is this the one that smells like, I don't know. Let me see. I'm looking at this uh, Cheriosa Beige Floor. Oh, I have this. This smells like um, Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't like that smell. I might be one of the only people. Um, I mean, I don't mind it in this lotion, but, or this cream too much, but that's not one of my favorite smells ever. I don't know why I don't like it. I'm not a Baccarat fan. I, I don't know, but that's what this is. It's a jumbo elastic cream. So no for me, <laughs> but let me know if you like this smell. This is number 68, yes. $85, yeah. VIB, sorry, it's gotta wait if you want it. Victoria Beckham came out with some eyeshadow sticks. You know I don't do the sticks because you think you're gonna use them. I think I'm gonna use them, I wanna say you, and I don't. So I'm sure they're great. They're $34, but I'm telling you, you can get the, um, tag, I don't have them in front of me, but you know NYX has their like jumbo sticks. Wait a minute, I have them. I was thinking about decluttering them because I've had them for so long and I really don't use them. NYX has, what are they called? These are called the jumbo eye pencil. I just don't think it's worth paying $34 for eyeshadow sticks, so no. And I like, I really like Victoria Beckham. You know I do especially my liners, but no, no to these. Looks like these are restocks from Simply Posh Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I have that cozy cabin palette and have never used it. I haven't even touched it, that's sad. It looks like they're gonna do a pre-order for both of these palettes in March or April. So you can use the code RADAR10 if you're interested in these. Makeup by Mario came out with a new Master Mats eyeshadow palette and this one's called The Neutrals. It is $50. It's a first of its kind neutral tone eyeshadow palette. First of all, that's a lot. First of its kind. I mean, first of its kind. Okay, I wanted to play the sound just for saying that, but that's fine. I like his original neutral matte palette better. I think my friend Jammy has that one. Now this one is neutral tone, but to me it's leaning very cool. Whereas his original was more warm, if I remember correctly. I am not into this at all. This again is already available, it's $50. Yeah, I like the original one, the signature warm mattes, but I will not be getting any of these. Let me know your thoughts. This reminds me a little bit of the KKW Beauty palette that came out, or was it, what is it now? Skin by Kim. It reminds me of that palette, which is kind of ironic because I don't know if he's still her makeup artist, but definitely a similar vibe with both of those palettes and they're the same price. But um, I think the, the Mario packaging looks better, but um, it's all a pass, so we're gonna move on, but it is available. When it, okay, so Pure is still around. And they have a silky tint creamy multitasking stick. I'm really not into products like these. Um, 
I'm just not. So let's see. You could probably use these because it's multitasking. So I'm guessing eyes, cheeks, and maybe lips. I don't see it. But it does have some skincare ingredients in it like peptides, sodium hyaluronate, and shea and mango butter. So let me know your thoughts. This has light to medium color coverage. And they are available at Ulta Beauty for $26. And this is gonna be a pass. For this La Mer lip gloss is a no or volumizer because it's $90, so I'm not even gonna do that. Not even gonna waste time. So last week we saw that Born to Stand Out had the Mary Jane fragrance coming out, and then they have one called Drunk Maple. Mm, we'll, we will see about that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It looks like Ilya has a Skin Rewind Blurring Foundation and Concealer Complexion Stick. It has medium coverage and it is a long wear skincare power complexion stick that blurs instantly and visibly firms and smooths over time. I don't need anything like this in my collection. It is $48. I'm trying to think, do I have stick foundations that I use? I really liked the uh, Huda Beauty Faux Filter foundation stick. The one from Merit was okay too. Yeah, I don't have any sticks that I'm really using like that. Oh no, I like the Westman Atelier stick. So I really don't have a need to add anything like this in my collection. We do have a summer collection from Suku. Um, I'm not really interested in this. Actually, Jamie sent me some Suku palettes to try and I am wearing one of the Suku moisture glaze lipsticks. I like stuff like that, but I'm not really interested in this collection at this time. But let me know your thoughts. This, I don't know when this is gonna be around, but eventually, you know, it will be coming. I do hear a lot of great things about their blushes, so these look intriguing, but right now, you know, it's a no. We may have talked about the KLE Oodgasm Smoky Oud number seven. Uh, I'm not going to be purchasing this, I don't think. We have top notes of rum and saffron, middle notes of cystus, geranium and jasmine, and dry notes of patchouli, cedarwood, guaiac wood, vanilla, white musk, and oud. Yeah, I don't think I'm interested in this. The oudgasm collection really wasn't a hit for me at all, so this is going to be a pass. Not sure if this is available yet or not. We have a new product release from Glow by Auric, and this is the Plush Ritual. I'm not sure what it is. Let me see. Oh, Ceramide Lip Treatment. Okay, I'm not interested in this either. Rode, she's got stick blushes. So see, I at this point, like I even have some of the Pat McGrath stick blushes that I got on sale. I have not touched them. I'm looking like they're right here, but apparently they're not. Uh, I just have to wait on any products like that and I have to keep asking myself like what is really the difference between stick blushes from one brand versus another even if the ingredients are different a lot of the ingredients do the same things so I, I'm trying not to get excited and I'm gonna move on and I'm also not excited about this um, the showstopper 2 palette and you know what it's definitely stopping me from buying it because this is just too much. Like, I, let me know what y'all think. I mean, hmm, let's look at what this palette contains. That's $44.40, which is not a bad price. 15 velvet matte shadows, five light reflecting cream pigments, five luxe metallic shimmers, two multi-use matte bronzers, one multi-use matte blusher, and one multi-use blusher and highlighter duo. I mean, I guess this is a one you know what? No, it's not. I was about to say it's a one-stop shop, but you know, those bronzers aren't going to be great for everyone. And it looks like there's just only one palette. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. I mean, it's big. This is too much. I have never tried Be Perfect Cosmetics. So definitely weigh in and let me know how you feel about the brand, about the quality. I really have no idea. I'm just judging off the fact that I don't like, it's just too much. But let me know your thoughts. It's a cool color story. Nothing's wrong with it. And I, I see that they're trying to make something that's going to be, you know, a one-stop shop, like I said. But it's, it's, no, it's a no. Talked about this last week, and now we have some more pictures. This is called Missy. It is on Sephora. 
I think you can put it in your loves. This is in the Fresh family and it's a fresh solar scent with green mandarin, coconut and pineapple. And I'm here for it. I'm excited. I really do like probably all of the Rosie Jane scents. I do have a video with uh, the sample set where I tried it. It might've been one I didn't like, but they're really good. I'm almost finished my Dulce travel size and um, all I have are samples left, but I think this one's gonna be really nice for the summertime and I'm really excited to try it. So either the full bottle or the travel size, 75 for the full bottle, which isn't bad and 28 for the travel size. So with the 20% off for VIB, that's gonna be a winner. Oh, yes, okay. So Tatcha, oh, you know what? I wonder, so the Silk Sunscreen SPF 50. Okay, so this came out like a couple years ago, but everyone complained about the packaging. I think I finished mine, but I really liked it because it is a sunscreen serum and it goes great under makeup. It's like a primer and doesn't leave a white cast or anything. But I wonder if this is just, a change in the packaging because there were so many complaints. I think it is. I do. This is $62. I'm not going to get this because I just ordered the one from Kiehl's, but this is good if you're interested and it's SPF 50. So let me know your thoughts. Oh, I like that. I'm glad they changed the packaging. That was like the major complaint. All right, y'all. So Flora Coup is a perfume house. I've never heard of them, but their bottles look so interesting. And they have a bunch of these. They are on so avant-garde and they might be 30% off. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. And they have the samples too. So this one's called Spring Fever. This one sounds really fresh. It's $350. So that's really not something I'm going to be into right now. It's a clean citrus fragrance there's some florals in there yeah this is not going to be my type of fragrance I love the bottles though look at that really pretty I want to see if she has the other ones but I would check out so avant-garde because there's a bunch of them on on that site and they are having a sale I will try to remember to put that in the description box I will try let's move on this is from Milk Makeup. This is a Cloud Glow Priming Foam with Brightening Turmeric. Turmeric is my new thing, y'all, because I've been doing those ginger turmeric shots and the pills. I swear they have really helped uh, my joints because I think turmeric is really good for joints, but it's also good for brightening and, you know, other things too. And it does help with immunity, but I swear these ginger turmeric pills have worked wonders for my knee. Cause my knee is like really bad. Anyway, this is a skincare packed priming foam that visibly brightens and hydrates to bring out your skin's natural glow and create a smooth base for makeup. I'll be interested in trying the, this just for the texture. The primer that I'm into right now though, is the Cali Ray primer. I think that primer is really good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I feel like that's been the difference with my makeup lasting as long as it has because like right now it's 730 and I did not even touch up my face or anything. So you don't really see any blush, but like it still looks really good. So I don't know. I'm curious. It's more of a curiosity thing, but I'm stuck on the Cali Ray right now. But let me know your, your thought about this one, $28, and it's going to be available on the 15th. If I were to get this, it's going to be during the VIB, the savings event. From youth to the people, we have a superfood skin drip smooth and glow barrier serum with kale and niacinamide. So this is a glow serum. Mm. It says it infuses up to 10 surface layers of skin with vitamin rich hydration. How do you check that? How do you check that it can uh, infuse up to 10 surface layers? Okay, I'm kind of interested, but it's not something that I need at this time. It is $44 and it's going to be available on March 11th and 12th. I don't know. I'm just curious of how it hydrates up to 10 surface layers deep. I mean, that's the type of stuff I'm into. And it strengthens the moisture barrier in one hour. Okay. Helps prime your skin for makeup. 
Oh, look at this y'all. Okay. So NARS has the with love collection. This is summer 2024 and it's going to launch on April 19th. Now, hmm, what do we think about this? It says a new Laguna palette is being released along with eight seduction eyeshadow sticks and more products. So the sticks are no, you already know, but what do we think about the, okay. All this is a no, this stuff here, but I was curious and we're not getting a great look and are these, it looks like, okay, they're two different ones. Hmm. Kind of uh, intrigued with the palette. The one on the top, the deeper one, see the, the light one, the light one's the one I would need. But the deeper one, look at those shades at the top. Those shades, I like those. The top four shades. But the deep uh, bronzer is, is really deep for me. Hmm. All right, let me know your thoughts on this. We don't have any pricing just yet. But I, I am kind of interested. Um, let me know your thoughts. It's not something I need, though. This is a lot. We have a collab from Estee Lauder for International Women's Day. Okay. Oh, uh, I. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? What is that? Is that? I know it's not a palette. Hold on. It is a palette. Dare to express. Okay, y'all. That's just too much. I'm. That's not gonna work. The lipsticks are beautiful though with the embossings. But nope. This is a no. Not doing it. I don't see any pricing yet and um, it's going to be a pass. So let me know your thoughts on that. I feel like Estee Lauder had some lipsticks last week and I was like, okay. And they're like plated in 24 karat gold. So that's nice. Oh, okay. So I did hear that Huda Beauty is like taking back her brand. She's stepping back up as CEO. And I think this might be her first release, I guess, since, or I don't know. Don't get me the line. I didn't watch the video. But this is a gloss. This is going to launch on the 13th. It is a very glossy. Okay. I don't like that picture. So I'm just letting y'all know that right now. Like, why would you have it up? You know what it reminds me of in a way? I'm, I'm sorry to be TMI. It just reminds me when you go to the GYN and then they put that and they... That's what that reminds me of. Like they just keep saying, slide down, scoot down, scoot down. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it reminds me of. So that's a no. Okay, uh, uh, Polite Society, I, I don't know the hype with the brand or if there's hype. They have a couple of releases, I think, but uh, this is gonna be a pass. These are at Ulta. I did see that on the Ulta site. So we have blushes and gloss bombs. So at this time, I'm just not really adding uh, Polite Society to my repertoire, to my arsenal. I'm not adding Violet FR. I want to say Violet for real, but that's not what it stands for, I don't think. Do y'all remember on um, <laughs> Blow? Blow is like one of the movies I love. And remember Pee Wee Herman played the drug dealer? His name was Derek for real. <laughs> Every time I see that FR, I think it means for real, but I know it doesn't. Anyway, I like how these look like the marbleized situation, but you know, it's all going to be one color. Anyway, uh, this is a new blush shade. They're $35 and I think you just get it from their site and it's a no, but it's pretty, very pretty. Okay. All right. Youthphoria. I don't know anything about this brand. These are foundations and I guess there's an expansion. 10 new shades. Um, uh, not into foundation right now. If I get a foundation, well, it might be another Prada one because I love that one. I mean, if I finish it or my Chanel number one tint that or it's not a tint. It's the revitalizing foundation that I used up or maybe even Lisa Eldridge or maybe even the Dior soft matte. Those are the ones I would be looking at. I am not going to be looking at Euphoria. So let me know your thoughts if you know anything about the brand because I don't. All right, so let's talk about Nomad. So we do have the location, Ireland Wild Atlantic. So very excited about this. This is beautiful. 
the packaging is beautiful and I'm really excited. And we do have eight shades that have been revealed. Again, I'm just waiting for my palette. You can see there's lots of green. I like those two color blues. This is, I just think this is gonna be very beautiful. So let me know your thoughts if you're planning on getting this one. I really hope I can have a video up before March 12th, which is what, Tuesday? I hope so, y'all, so that you can uh, get a chance to see it. I know there's going to be tons of videos up, and I did tell you my friend Jamie is going to have a video. Can you unlock this? Can you take this off? I sure can. You can say hi. Hi. All right, so March 12th, and the price is gonna be $49. You can use code RADAR10 at checkout to save 10%. So very excited to get my hands on that palette and do some looks for y'all. All right, let's move on. I mean, I probably would be getting it regardless. All right, I didn't really talk about the Kylie perfume. Uh, this is called Cosmic, and their keynotes, we have Star Jasmine and Blood Orange, Golden Amber Accord and Red Peony Accord, and then the base has Vanilla Musk and Cedarwood, so it's an ambery floral. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think I like that bottle, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, what you think about that. I'm definitely going to like watch some reviews, but that's not one that's on my list. We have some Love Steady Liquid Blushes from Mora Cosmetics. We have six new radiant shades for the perfect natural cheek flush. And you know, Mora is very, very affordable. I'm not sure how much these are, but I'm sure they're under $10. I'm thinking they are. They look pretty. I still haven't tried Mora Cosmetics. We have a new palette from Adept Cosmetics. This is the Cyborg Choir palette. I didn't think this was gonna be releasing so soon. I was kind of hoping that Flying Fiddles would get more time to shine, but that's just not how it works in the makeup world. Let me know your thoughts on this palette. I, yeah, five mattes and 10 shimmer slash duochrome slash multi-chromes. And I thought I heard $79. That's more than their normal palettes. So I thought that I heard that, yeah, I think some of these are holochromes. So I, just so everybody knows, I'll put this out there now, holochromes are not my favorites. I don't know what I'm missing. I got holochromes from the Glam Shop. I have like nine of them. And I just feel like those are all that I need. And they, I don't know. Everything that I've seen with holochromes is just that they're, rainbow flecks within the eyeshadows. And I don't know if I like that. I like duochromes, I like multi-chromes with the smooth shift, but not so much holochromes with the sparkly rainbow flecks. Does that make sense? Now, of course, I think that if Adept is doing holochromes, they're gonna be phenomenal. I, I really think they will be. I'm just saying that they're not my favorites. Am I going to get this palette? My gut tells me, yes, I'm going to get this. Um, I think when she sent flying fiddles out to me, that was just kind of her just being nice, you know, and I, that was really cool. But um, I wanted I want to try it. And I think because I have all the adept ones and I'm about to lie and say like they're magnetic and I'm going to switch things around. But I'm not because I never do. So why am I going to lie? I just want to add it to my Adept collection. I love my Adept palettes and I definitely see myself making some looks that I like with this palette, but I don't, I didn't have an idea. I don't know what a cyborg choir would look like, but you know what? I know that she knows. So I trust it and I will most likely get it, but $79. I wonder if it's 79 because of the holochromes. I'd rather just have no holochromes and go back to like 62. Because that flying fiddles is it. It is everything, y'all. Like, it, it really is it. With the little lace fabric on the front. Stop playing. But this, this is very beautiful. It's going to be nice for the, the summer. A grungy, summery vibe with the mattes. Like, you got, like, a deep red, a what is it, like deep navy, maybe black. This bright blue. It's going to be some interesting looks done with this palette, I have to say. I'm not sure what I would do with it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna find out though. All right, 
March 15th at 10 a.m. CST. So let me know your thoughts on this one. I'm, I'm like, oh, the price, y'all, because we don't need the prices to go up. We really don't. And I'd rather have less multi-chromes, dual chromes, hollow chromes, and a cheaper price. I'd rather have that than the prices go up. What else do we have here? Okay, no. Talked about the house lab blushes. The two bottom ones are mine at the Sephora sale. They are, what, $32? I think they're 32 yep they are available now if you don't want to wait i'm gonna wait what is this mystery bag oh gosh okay notoriously morbid has some mystery bags um i y'all know i just can't i'm not really so much interested in notoriously morbid beyond like eyeshadow lipsticks uh, i have tried some of their loose blushes but some of the other things not really i didn't get the paint the town red palette but i really thought it was beautiful but i just passed on it for right now i don't know just the long shipping it's just deterred me a bit i do like notoriously morbid though a lot but right now i'm just laying low on, on the palette it's okay just caught my eye nickelodeon Okay, Lethal's doing something. I don't know. See, Lethal is another one. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, this is like from the Lethal palette that I made. I know it might not look special, but it really is. I was like, this, mm. But then Lethal does stuff like the 7-Up collection. And I'm just like, mm, it's just not uh, my cup of tea. So I'm just gonna have to see what this is because I really have no idea what they're about to do with this. So we just gotta stay, stay uh, up on it. Talked about this from Steph's Beauty Stash. Mm -mm. It's still a no. Uh, it, it, it's still a no. Let me know if you purchased it, though. It's just, it's a lot for me. It's a lot for me to figure out. Yeah, it's just a lot for me to figure out. So let me know your thoughts. It's $52.99 and Radar 10 is the code. But yeah, let me know if you purchased that palette. I mean, she did some beautiful looks. Fenty, no more music. Uh, we have, oh, wait a minute though. Jumbo butter drop, whip oil body cream with trap. Okay, y'all. So Jamie got me to get this one, the cinnamon one with the shimmer. I, I use that up so fast. It's really good. So I would be here for the jumbo butter drop, but it's $79. Mmm. I'm gonna just have to get a regular one because it's too much. But it's really, really nice. But I'm gonna pass on the $79 jumbo one. Nope. All right, what's this? Winky Lux. Oh, okay, fine. Nope, don't need lip oils. These are at uh, Ulta Beauty and WinkyLux.com. Remember when Winky Lux came out with the, um, didn't Winky Lux come out with the Applebee's gloss? It made me so mad. It made me so mad. Oh, more from Pure. Okay, Pure trying to make a little comeback. Mm -mm, not with this on point tint creamy eyeshadow and primer because y'all know I don't wear these. Matter of fact, I was thinking about pulling out my little one and done eyeshadow uh, singles like, like the Lisa Eldridge uh, cream eyeshadows. Now those are really good. And I have a couple up from um, Victoria Beckham. Maybe I need to use those, but I'm definitely not adding any to my collection. No singles. No liquid eyeshadows, no thanks. So $24 each, that's nice, but it's gonna be a nice no. Ooh, okay, sample set. We have a deluxe mini coffret set from Julia Has a Gun. What do we have? Oh, mm-mm. Let me tell you what I don't like. Lust for Sun, nope. I don't really care for Lust for Sun. Uh, vanilla vibes. I don't really care for vanilla vibes. I have a travel of that. Juicy pear. Don't really care for that. What else? Not a perfume. I'm not sure what happened to that one. You know what I do have from Juliet has a gun that I like. I like um, sunny side up and I like lipstick fever. Lipstick fever is so interesting. It's like woody raspberry kind of makeup y scent. It's really weird, but I like it. But this is a no. $75, I don't think that's bad, but it's a no. All right, what's this? Bobby! Oh my gosh, we didn't have anything from Thomas this week. What? What's happening? Um, okay, I'm not getting this pot rouge. I'm not getting that. I'm just not. No. 
available now no all right and then we have a bunch of singles from sinful echoes i feel like we talked about some of these last week i now i'll tell you which one i like though that's lotus Ooh, that's nice look at um it's mm, that one right there now now here's what i'll say because i mm, trying to think of a single where i have a red and green i got a red and black flip i got red to orange but not this. I don't think I have one like this. That's something to keep in mind. But not today. Not today. I am not getting any singles. Okay. Recapping on the Sephora Savings event. Starting on April 5th. Y'all, we have less than a month. Just wait. Wait. We can do it. So, yes. Yay, save. And then we know that the Ulta event is happening now. So, there's some beauty steals and all that. But I never really shopped that. So, let me know if you have some things i never do a video about it because i never shop it in case you were wondering so let me know your thoughts um on the 21 days of beauty or what's it called semi-annual beauty event let me know your thoughts on that mm, i'm on trim mood i'm not really seeing anything all right one point click vibes yeah not seeing anything here let's check out chic profile four and not really seeing anything here that I want to talk about. So let's move it on over and close this one out. All right, you guys. So this week, um, I'm just waiting on the Sephora savings event. I'm just trying to hold out because I just think that, you know, at this point we can go ahead and wait. We can do it, y'all. We can. I do have a couple of gift cards for my birthday and I have. I don't, well, I don't have a lot of points. I just have enough to get $10 off. But you know what? Every little bit helps. So when we get closer to the time, I will have a video just to show you what's in my loves list. Like, I'll just show you what's in my loves list. And maybe what I recommend as well. I don't want to make it a big thing because I'm really not trying to push people to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Especially if you're not in the market for it. You know what I mean? But I know, you know, with certain things... The Sephora savings event, sometimes that's the only time we can get certain things on sale. So I do want to talk about those things, but there have been so many sales, y'all, like everywhere. So I am just going to try to hold tight for the things that I really want. And that's really going to be it. I'm really excited to try out the Nomad palette. Mm, as far as palettes, I don't think I have anything on the horizon. Oh, lies uh cyborg choir i mean it's a safe bet that i'm gonna get cyborg choir i don't know my excitement for cyborg choir and the element 115 was not how i felt about sumerian sunset inspired and flying fiddles so different color stories you know i'm excited because it's adept i love adept it's going to be a great palette but color story wise, you know, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Still excited to try it nonetheless. And uh, nothing else uh, from this week. Still waiting to see all the spring magic from Unearthly. House Lab blushes. I think that's it, y'all. I really, really do. I'm just, I don't know, not necessarily overwhelmed, but just pulling back from so many palettes. I have really had such a wonderful time. You'll see when I do my roundup for February, I'm doing a whole video on the palettes I use for February because there were so many and they weren't all new palettes. So I have to completely, like I have to do a completely different video for just the palettes that I use in February and then a second video for the everything else I use for the roundup. I've just had a wonderful time using the things that are in my collection. So I don't know, I always keep saying I'm trying to be choosy and all that, but it's really tough sometimes when there's so many things that we love, but that's where I'm at for makeup releases this week. Let me know your thoughts. I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel great. I, I really like doing it this way where I can be spontaneous and really like, I don't know, share my true feelings and it not be so like controlled. Uh, we didn't have anything that I felt really needed to leave this week. Hmm. But I'm sure something's coming. So don't worry. There'll be plenty of things. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And as always, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. 
I hope this was therapy for you. You know, it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself. Nice. Stay safe. And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, block your